I'll tell you what, right, the fact that uh, the, the BBC won this, so I'm trying, you know, not to swear too much, do you know what I mean? I'm trying to, you know, curb the language, obviously, telly and, whoa, and all that, and, which is tricky for me, because I just got married to an Australian, <laughs> and that's knackered it, because those people swear like you wouldn't, but look at them clapping already <laughs> over there. Do fucking right, mate! <laughs> Because that's how my wife talks. Exactly <laughs> like that. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, she looks like an angel, sounds like Alf off home and away. There you go. That's the, <laughs> the, <laughs> I say she looks like an angel, I mean metaphorically, obviously. I don't mean she walks around in the nude playing a harp. <laughs> I've asked her, she won't. <laughs> Because I'm not easy to live with, to be perfectly honest, you know. I know, oh, really? You don't strike us as that, do you? No, because I'm like this all the time, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's fine for you, watch the show, leave. That's the way. She's got it just... <laughs> you know, there's a fine line between spouse and carer, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just non-stop, all the time, I just can't help myself. Just absolute bollocks coming out of me, you know. <laughs> I've had Jehovah's Witnesses, right, come to our house, right? <laughs> she's gone out three hours later, like, she's come back, and they're there, like that, going, well, uh, see you then, you've certainly given us a lot to think about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose there could be a giant space monkey that controls the whole of the... <laughs> That's... Uh... <laughs> You know, because what I've tried to do in the past, right, and this is where I always fell down, is in relationships, I'd always try and pass myself off like as the strong, silent type. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No, I did, and it worked for about four minutes. Do you know what I mean? Just kind of standing there like that, just trying to be all sort of moody and interesting, and that's how I do moody and interesting there. <laughs> just wobble my leg. And, uh, it looks more like I've had some kind of spinal injury there, but, you know, it's... <laughs> And I always wanted to do that thing, like, because this is the thing that used to strike fear into my heart in a relationship. It would always happen, right? When you, you, you're there and you'd hear, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, that's a bad thing to ask me at any given time, do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> there's probably quite a lot of odd stuff knocking around in there, do you know what I mean? I always wanted to turn around and just go, you know, be all kind of romantic and Byron-esque about it, you know, and just go, what was I thinking, my dear? <laughs> I was merely thinking how the splendor of the day was counted only by the radiance of your beauty. <laughs> but I always panic at that moment, and I'd sort of freak out a bit and not get it right in my head, and I'd be like, and I'd be standing there, like, trying to remember that, and they'd say, what are you thinking? And I'd go, ah! Do you think ghosts change their clothes? <laughs> what? That's all you're thinking, was it? Well, you know, they're in haunted houses. It must get dusty. I mean, do they just <laughs> change the clothes or do they change themselves? Or do... That's all you're... T you're staring out of a window and that was not all I was thinking, was it? I was thinking... Um, and I'm desperately going... Aah! I was thinking, how comes Mr Universe has only ever been won by contestants from Earth? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Does that not strike you as just a little bit weird? <laughs> Never once in the history of that competition have they ever gone, and the winner is Thwingo from the planet Thwar. <laughs> Usually by this point, the woman concerned would have left, you know, <laughs> edging away down the garden path slowly. I don't want to be with you anymore. You know, I hadn't even got to the bit about converting the garage into a special operations room, you know. <laughs> it's easily done, right? What you do is you just... You get a table like that and you just put, like, some maps of the local area on the table, put a couple of bedside lamps underneath like that just to light it nicely, and then uh, a low lamp, you know, like a billiard lamp, that'll do you, above. Make sure you trim the fringe off, make it look professional. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And then all you do is you just have toy cars on there and you get, like, a brush and you cut the bristles off and you use that to push the toy cars around. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. That's great, that. Women laughing and just blokes just going... <laughs> That's genius, that is. <laughs> I say we make him our leader. <laughs>
So we got married, right? And uh, it's weird because marrying an Australian, right? I've ended up with like an Australian family, which is just, it's odd, you know, because they're all like really healthy and fit and playing football and having barbecues. And I don't really fit into the whole equation. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I kind of like, they're all, hey, and that, and you know, I'm on all the photographs like a bleeding vampire on the end. Like, <laughs> He's like me. Do you want a steak, mate? Would you like a steak? Don't say that word. Please don't cook the steak. I will suck the bloody goodness from it.